Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining community sync call about the PWA Studio. We're gonna be sharing today the upcoming release that is happening end of March. Let me share my screen. Um, let me know if you see the slide. I can see I it. Hope. Okay, awesome. Uh, so it's a, it's gonna be a second release this year, first following the January release that happened uh, with the uh, newsletter subscription, other default CMS pages support, like the contact us, uh, about us and others added to uh, the um, default Magenta, uh, default PW Studio installation, uh, and also the ability to run PW Studio um, and the traditional Magenta storefront alongside on different um, websites, but on the same Magenta backend instance. So with the March list, we are adding the capabilities that increase merchants' ability to uh, cater their content to their uh, shoppers, uh, targeting different segments with the dynamic block support as well as support of the targeted promotions. So now it would be possible uh, on the PW Studio storefront uh, to create a promotion um, that could be applied with the coupon or without a coupon, target that uh, promotion to the particular customer segment and create a piece of content like a banner or, um, or the teaser and connect these two um, elements together. So the dynamic block um, created with the teaser uh, can be displayed only when the promotion is running to the particular segment that that uh, promotion is targeted to. Um, as well as we're adding the increased security to that uh, web forms that we added in a January release. So now all of the web forms um, uh, on the PW Studio storefront uh, can be secured with the recapture visible three if it's enabled on the Magenta backend side. Um, and all of the settings that are available for that recapture is supported on the PW Studio storefront. But just uh, a heads up that uh, it's only recapture visible three supported. Uh, as well as we are keep working and increasing the um, performance of the uh, storefront. And uh, we added um, at the end of the uh, 2021, the shimmer uh, loader to pages like product detail page and product listing page. And now we are adding the shimmer loader to the CMS page and pages increasing the um, the performance and uh, the, uh, in decreasing the cumulative layout shift on those page types. So this is what is coming uh, on a in a nutshell. And I'm going to hand over to James to share and demo all of that amazing functionality that is uh, coming soon. Cool. All right, thanks, Alana. Let me pull up my screen. All right, so you should be seeing the admin dashboard. Um, one of the first things I wanted to uh, demonstrate is where you can configure uh, the reCAPTCHA, um, uh, the Google reCAPTCHA for your storefront, and it's under settings, configuration, security, and then Google reCAPTCHA storefront. Um, this is where you would set um, the, the API keys and where you want the badge position to show up in your uh, storefront. And as Elena says, it's, it's the invisible one. So let's see that in action. Um, so this is the storefront um, that we have. Um, you'll see when you go sign in, you have the reCAPTCHA badge uh, here uh, showing up. Uh, you'll also see it um, in recover password and um, in the uh, checkout checkout um, steps, you'll see that. Um, and since uh, it's invisible, you won't be challenged unless uh, Google picks up that you're a bot. Um, the next thing I wanted to demonstrate was the personalized content. Um, so you see the this new banner here. Uh, 
uh, with uh, this message. This is a general message that is set up, but you sign in to a user, you'll see a different banner show up uh, that's targeted for that particular user right here. Um, of course, it's the, the, um, that's how you would um, target a um, uh, customer segment, uh, and that's uh, set up in the Magento backend. And the last one I wanted to show was the, the Shimmer loader, uh, and for that, I would need to throttle our network to actually see the Shimmer. Um, let's do this, and we'll load up uh, one of the new CMS pages, which would be the contact us, and you'll have to kind of be on the lookout because it happens pretty quick. So um, here we go, see the Shimmer, and boom. We have the CMS page. Um, I think that those are the, the big features coming in the next release. Are there any questions? Uh, I'll take that as a no. So I'll hand it back to you, Elena. Thanks, James. Yeah, that's an amazing demo. Um, that's all what we have to share. Um, is there any questions in general to the releases uh, and features? Well, I guess we got everything covered very efficiently within 10 minutes. Um, so that's great. Thanks for joining and have a good rest of your day. I'll share the recording. Thank you all. Bye, guys. Thanks, y'all.